Customs and Border Patrol sounding the alarm after the third consecutive month of record apprehensions at the southern border. The agency says the number of migrants apprehended at the border for the ongoing fiscal year has already surpassed the total for every fiscal year since 2009. This comes as Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Lindsey Graham says he will introduce new legislation this week to tighten asylum laws. We're going to change the underlying broken laws to stop what I think is literally an invasion of people from Central America. I'm going to introduce it Wednesday. Brian Yenis is live in our New York City newsroom with more. Hi, Brian. Hi, Alicia. Well, U.S. Customs and Border Protection source tells our Griff Jenkins that the number of apprehensions along our southwest border is now over 504,000 so far in the fiscal year here in 2019. To put this in perspective, that number is already higher than what we've seen in every full year since 2009. We still have four months left in this fiscal year. Now, this April saw the highest monthly number of apprehensions in 12 years, there were more than 98,000 immigrants apprehended in April trying to cross the border illegally. That's up 159 percent compared to April 2018 when 38,000 immigrants were apprehended. Now, the majority of these migrants are from Central America. Earlier today on Sunday morning's Futures with Maria Bartiromo, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said he would introduce an immigration bill Wednesday that would change our asylum laws and cut illegal immigration by 90 percent. If you're from Central America, we can't send unaccompanied minors back to Central America like you do from Mexico and Canada. We're going to change that. You can only hold a, a, a minor for 20 days. We're going to go to 100 days. But most importantly, you can no longer apply for asylum at our border. If you're from Central America, you have to apply for asylum at a consulate in your country. On Saturday, the acting defense secretary, Patrick Shanahan, visited McAllen, Texas, on the border. There are currently over 4,300 military troops deployed on our border, including active duty and National Guard. Our Brian Kilmeade on Fox & Friends spoke exclusively with Secretary Shanahan, who said the troops will remain on the border until the Department of Homeland Security gets more resources to handle this surge. We're going to be here until the borders are secured. We've got to have the backs of the men and women that are down here being overrun. Earlier this month, Secretary Shanahan acknowledged this border crisis developed more quickly than anyone anticipated, and CBP has been overwhelmed and overstretched. DHS on Friday asked the Pentagon for temporary shelters, Alicia, to house the thousands of detained migrants at the border where migrant shelters are already at capacity. Alicia. Brian Yenis here in New York. Thanks, Brian.